Today I'm talking about this Lomography Automat. This is just the regular one. They also made a glass version of this model, but this is the first one. I believe this is the South Beach edition, so this colorway. Um, I actually backed this camera in August 31st of 2016 on Kickstarter. As soon as I saw it, I thought it was really cool. I thought the colorways were really fun, so I thought I'd give it a go. It had taken a while to get here. That's just how Kickstarter campaigns go, but they definitely delivered with this product. And as soon as I got it, by the time I'd actually got it, I'd actually lost interest in it, if that makes any sense. Um, I wasn't too into it. I think I'd started getting into more Polaroid 680 and SX70 stuff, or uh, Instax wide mostly. And so I kind of just left it out and about and just left it in my room, just collecting dust until recently. I saw somebody use this with the fisheye lens. So this camera does come with a fisheye lens. It did come with a wide angle lens, which is pretty neat. Let's see if I can. And um, a ton of other things. So it did have a little click button. Let me see if I can move this out of the way. It did have a little click button. So the, uh, the little lens cover had a button that had a battery. So you can do a remote. So you can do selfies if you're a little bit out. It did have a camera strap that shows you the distances on which modes to use. So the minimum distances. You can see here there's portrait, there's like a group photo, and it also came with these little color gels. The crazy thing about this camera that I didn't realize is Lomography gave you every single tool that you would possibly want in a camera, and kind of just I just kind of left it be until recently. So it wasn't until somebody showed me that the fisheye lens it actually does this pretty cool effect. So you can see it kind of has like a cool skater vibe here's a birthday party one of my friends and it's cool I really like it I really like how it blacks out the area and so it got me thinking all right so what else can I do so I started thinking well if you can do black out the area it'd be cool to do double exposure kind of like the old Polaroid um, or even impossible project round frames um, that I miss so dearly Polaroid please bring those back we miss them but I thought that was really cool I do have another image, I can't actually find it, but I'm gonna link it probably here. And it's where I take advantage of this black. So if you do double exposure, so I did a regular exposure, and then on the black, I did another exposure and it covers up this image and it makes this really nice overlay. Pretty much pushing the boundaries of Instax Mini, which is really fun. So here's just a normal picture. I think over time I did get some lens flare on the images. It's not that big of a deal, I think it's just from I, I don't know, catching the light properly or improperly. Again, not that big of a deal, but Lomography put this camera out so long ago that I kind of just forgot. It does have an auto mode, it does have a bulb mode, plus or minus exposure, uh, and it does have here uh, the MX, which is multiple exposure, and you can turn off flash manually. It's really straightforward to check how many pictures you have. Instead of a little counter, you have these little LEDs, so I have one picture left kind of show um, you can barely see it now there's so you have one exposure left and then you have your modes here that illuminate I have the don't shake sticker um, the build quality itself I, I would never really liked these things from Lomography how they have this metal thing it looks so nice once you get it as soon as you get it it looks fantastic the little faux leather thing actually holds up pretty cool um, but this thing kind of makes the the camera age really fast. This this is fine, but this makes it age fast. This does. If they were to go with the same color, this tan color, and put it here, I wouldn't notice any difference or even something different on the thing. It's really straightforward. So you just, you just have some threading. So you can just put your attachments and you're good to go. You can swap them out really quick. Um, the color gels, I had to lost them originally, but you can just buy a pack of color gels off of eBay. A ton of colors for pretty cheap you can just cut them to size it's not that big of a deal but this is definitely a camera that I'd slept on for a long time even though I owned the same camera it's something that I'd slept on um, I definitely like taking it out the camera itself is so inviting it looks you know vintage they do make other colorways but the South Beach one was the one that caught my eye I think I paid the super early bird price of $96 which I think was pretty fair for this camera um, considering all the bells and whistles, they did really good at selling it, and then, I don't know, just the support kind of 
when LA Lamography is always doing stuff with different film formats and different film styles. So I would kind of like to see this camera be talked about a little bit more. They do make the automatic glass like I was talking about earlier, which is a glass, which is a glass lens instead of a plastic lens. And I have seen people say that you do get really sharper, not cr not a crazy sharper, but a pretty noticeably slightly sharper uh, image from the glass one. So very cool. Um, something that I'm going to be posting a lot more on my Instagram. If you don't follow that, make sure to check it out, Aim Street Develop. Um, if you're coming from there, very cool. Keep doing what you're doing, kind of deal. But I don't know, I really like this camera. I really like how straightforward it is. Um, probably the only flaws that I could see is some of the cosmetic things like this. The batteries that it takes. Lomography really likes using those CR2 uh, batteries, which are not too hard to find. You can go to like Best Buy or Target and find them, but it's just kind of inconvenient. You can't just pop in some AAAs, but that's fine. The camera strap, very clever. The attachments they brought, very clever. I really like the fisheye. I really like swapping out and do multiple exposures. The camera itself as an Instax mini camera, um, I probably would, uh, this is more for me, I think Lomography tailors more for creative stuff than just really clean cut images. You do get some, like I was saying, the lens flare, you do kind of get some inconsistency sometimes, but I think that's just the charm of it. If you're going for perfect, don't get this camera. If you're going for something fun, definitely get this camera. If you don't mind a little bit of, um, a little bit of something different you know the images are kind of in focus but they're kind of not in focus um, obviously you're not gonna get something stupid sharp out of something like this you can go with like the TL70 my mint or um, the Neo 90 I believe the little brown one that you can get from Fuji they make really good stuff but if you're going for something fun or creative that's really gonna push your boundaries as a photographer you can go with something like this um, I don't know what these things cost now uh, I, don't, I don't know what the shelf price is of them, but I highly recommend picking them up if you can find them for cheap. Um, I think at $100, this was just enough for me to get into, enough to get into the game for me to get into and enjoy. So, I just wanted to make this quick video just to talk about this camera, you know, a few years after it had been made, because I feel like support had been lost off, and I don't know, it's just something fun people should check out. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.